Go dogs! am I right? Well, if you consider yourself a Georgia Bulldog fan, you better make sure that you can do a few things. And if you can't handle these five things, you might want to reconsider your Georgia fandom. Stick around to the end to find out what I'm talking about. So how about the <laughs> dogs? That's what I told them. Number one. Now we are talking about college football, so of course emotions are going to run high. But being a lifelong Georgia Bulldog fan and an alum of the school, I know that my Georgia Bulldog fandom is intense. If you can't handle intense emotions, maybe you shouldn't be a Georgia Bulldogs fan. All of the emotions, heartbreak, joy, disappointment, the camaraderie of Dog Nation, pure nervousness, anxiety. I've known them all over the years, and I'm sure you have too. Do we really need to visit, I don't know, 2012, 2017? All those years against Spurrier in Florida. 2002? 2007? No. If you're going to run with the dogs, you better be able to handle intense emotion. Number two, delusional rivals. See, the thing about being a Bulldog fan is that everybody wants to be Georgia's rival, or so it seems. Tennessee, South Carolina, Alabama, Auburn, Florida, of course. Kentucky, Georgia Tech, Clemson. It seems everybody wants to clout jump a little and claim Georgia as their number one rival. Fact of the matter is, Georgia really only has two, maybe three. Florida, Auburn, Georgia Tech. If you're not one of those three, sorry. Great games to be sure. Rivals? No. And yet these are the same fan bases that seem to want to talk the most trash. Always looking for some way to hate or minimize Georgia's successes. I know it's college football. Everybody does it. But when you haven't won a national title, I don't know, this century, or you're being historically dominated by the dogs in the series, or you haven't won a game against Georgia in damn near a decade, you might just want to sit all the way down. But they're going to keep coming. So dog fans, be careful out there in the interwebs. Number three, Munson Syndrome, or IP Larry. As a Gen Xer, I grew up listening to Larry call the dogs games. I can't escape it. Every fiber of my body feels the looming doom. Now, admittedly, winning the last two national championships have done a lot to get rid of a lot of those feelings. But they're still there. There were years where if you couldn't get over that, oh no, here we go again, it was very, very hard to be a Georgia fan. But the time has come, Dog Nation. Embrace it. Fear not and trust in Kirby. We are champions, and we are contenders for years to come. Get used to the weight of that crown. How about the fucking dogs? How about them? Number four. If you can't give yourself over to the pure frivolity and excitement of barking at a total stranger or shouting out go dogs when you're walking through the grocery store, I don't know if you can be a Georgia fan. Embrace it. It's what life's all about. Have fun. I hope people look, including children. If you're doing it right, you'll get that go dogs back. Oh, yes, I bark at children. The cool ones bark back. Can I get a go dogs? If somebody doesn't like it, that's their problem. And I feel sorry for them. And number five, an honest and genuine appreciation for just how good things are at the University of Georgia right now. These are the glory days. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Be a proud member of Dog Nation. Wear your colors, fly your flag, and bark at whoever you want to. The future is bright at Georgia. Soak it in and enjoy the ride. Go dogs! We will not be hunted at the University of Georgia. I can promise you that.